Hi, this is Dawn from Pixology Digital Solutions again. Today I'm talking to you about how to label your printed photos. Um, the way that I, I label my photos and the way I suggest you should too is to use these Stablo pencils. They are very soft lead and they're archival safe for your photos. They come in, in black and they also come in white. You can buy them on Amazon. If you live locally, you can get them for me like two dollars in tax. They're not terribly expensive, but they're much, much better than trying to label a photo with, say, a regular pencil, which is, has much harder lead and will emboss on your photo, or ink. If you use an ink pen to label your photos, it can be very bad. If you have your photo years later with ink written on the back of it, the ink will start coming through besides being embossed and have you know, the words coming through on the front side. So you want to make sure that you use something that's safe for your photo and has a soft lead. I suggest these Stablo All pencils. The other reason that you want to label your photos is because you will end up with photos that no one knows who they are in years to come. This is a stack of some of the unknowns in my family. So if you have photos, make sure that you label them, label them safely. Okay, we've talked about the kind of pencils that you're supposed to use and why you should label your photos. Right now I'm going to talk a little bit more. Um, this is a photo we don't really know exactly who it is. It's from my husband's side of the family. And this old type on the cardboard, you probably want to use the white pencil because it'll show up better than maybe the black. Um, but So you want to turn your photo over and label it on the back of it and you want to put down all of the information that you know, if you know the name of the person, if you know the date, and you know the place the photo was taken, you want to put those things on there so it helps you to narrow down who and what and where and why. So on this one I'm going to put Schwant, whoop, I broke my lead, and this was taken I believe in Wisconsin. And I'm guessing around maybe 1920s. So this photo is now labeled as well as I can do it. Hopefully I can get some other family member to give me some more information. But if you were doing a regular white photo, a newer one, you would want to use this darker lead. Um, one of the tips that you can that I can give you is that if you're trying to figure out who someone is in a photo, um, one of the things to check is the earlobe. If you have a photo of the person that you know who they are, check the earlobes and like maybe the spacing of the eyes. And there's different ways that you can look at the photo and, and look at the, the basic facial features to see if it's the same person. Hi, thanks again for watching. And remember, you can get these pencils on Amazon. You can get them probably at a craft store. Um, you can get them for me if you're local. They're around $2-$3. Um, they're the Stablo All Pencils. They have very soft lead. And thank you so much for watching us today.